We're at Convention 76 headquarters. The excitement is tremendous. Let's go to Dan Lather. This is Dan Lather talking with Vice President uh, uh, Rockefeller. Oh, Rocky, what would you do if you were elected president? Go on, take the money and run. Of course you would, sir. This is Bobby Wallbanger with Governor Joey Brown of California. The governor is about to reveal the secret behind his young, energetic campaign. Governor, how do you start each day? That sounds particularly strenuous, Governor. Doesn't that produce any side effects? This is fuzzy reasoning, witnessing the arrival of former President Nixon. Now, Mr. Nixon, what do you expect the convention delegates to say to you when you enter the arena? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Well, it seems unlikely. But let me ask you this, sir. What did you say to President Ford when he offered you a pardon a year ago? Oh, you're the best friend. Hughes Crud on the floor of the convention hall with the ever-smiling Jimmy Carter. Mr. Carter, you seem to be the Democratic frontrunner at this time. If you should win the nomination, who would you pick as a running mate? Sarah Smile. Ah, Sarah Smile. A toothsome, toothsome indeed. Oops, there goes Frank Church. Oh, Senator, Senator Church, you got a late start in the primaries. Can you tell us why? Me and my baby love, love in the shadows. I see. Congressional Affairs. Excuse me, crud. Uh, that's Hughes, Walter. Oh, Hughes. This is Walter Cut, great at the exit door. Scoop Jackson, Birch Bay, and Fred Harris are all leaving the convention. Tell me, gentlemen, where are you going? Take it to the I notice that Hubert Humphrey is entering the convention through the back door. Senator Humphrey, the competition is fierce and everyone seems to be knocking everybody else out of the race. As usual, your wife is with you. Muriel and your husband should emerge as the convention's draft choice to go to Washington. Will you vote for him in November? My mama told me you better shop around. This is David Hickey in our anchor position. And I've obtained an interview with Ronald Reagan. Now, Mr. Reagan, you've taken a hard line on the issue. You claim not to be interested in wooing the voters with easy-sounding phrases. You think that people would have had enough a silly love song? But I look around me and I see it isn't so. In other words, you will continue to deliver the same speech you wrote 37 years ago while you were filming Bonzo Goes to College. What's wrong with that? We're on the convention floor where the most incredible political decision in the 200-year history of American politics has just been reached. Isn't that true, Barbie Wobanger? Yes, that's right. The convention has just unanimously elected me to be the people's candidate for president in November. Well, this is truly incredible. Crud, that's you. All right, have it your way. Hughes, could you poll the delegation? Alabama, did you vote for Barbie Wallbanger? That's right. New York, did you vote for Barbie Wallbanger? That's right. Washington, did you cast Barbie, your ballot Barbie, for Barbie Wallbanger? Barbie, how do you feel in your moment of trust? Sky rockets in flight. But after this, Barbie, what's left for you to achieve? Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet. Barbie Wallbanger still has to go up against the incumbent, Jerry Ford, in November. I see Mr. Ford now crawling along the rafters above the convention in order to get a better view of the proceedings. The Secret Service is trying to wrestle the rafters to the ground, and the president is...